What is a past participle? And that's a great question. So the past participle is another word for verb three. And we have two types of verb. We have our regular verbs and our irregular verbs. So if we look here, our regular verbs, we have brush, walk, study. So verb one. Then verb two, we add ed. So brush, brushed, oh. walk, walked, study, studied. And if it's verb three, it's easy peasy. It stays the same, yeah? So again, add our ed. Brush, brushed, brushed, walk, walk, walked, study, study, studied. So verb two and verb three are the same as speaking. Okay. Jadi bentuk regular, kalau seandainya teman-teman itu mau tahu verb satu, verb dua, dan verb tiga, ternyata ada dua bentuk. Yang pertama adalah yang bentuk regular, tinggal nambahin ed aja di belakangnya. And how about the irregular one? So irregular verbs, this is where we have to start memorizing how we change the spelling. Because we don't just add ed. So, for example, our verb one is eat. What is our verb two, Miss Vicky? Um, eight, I think. Eight, that's right. Yes. Verb one, go. Verb two. What do you think, Miss Vicky? Uh, went. Went, that's right. And take becomes? Took. Took, that's right. Ooh, thank you. Ada yang tahu verb tiganya? Eat. Oh, we're getting lots of messages. Yes, eaten. Good job. Nice. Then we have go, went, and then gone. Very good. Good. And take, took, and then taken. Yeah, well done. Lots of you getting it correct. Yes. So the past participle, it just means verb three. Sometimes when you're studying English, it might say using past participle, but here we normally use verb one, verb two, hmm, verb three. Yeah. It's easier, yeah. Hmm. Oke, okay, jadi teman-teman sebenarnya kalau orang lagi belajar bahasa Inggris secara internasional, itu bilang verb tiga itu past participle. Jadi kalau seandainya kayak kita browsing nih, tapi kok nggak nemu ya uh, verb tiganya apa gitu, itu bisa langsung pencet. Past participle of eat atau past participle of go, past participle of take. Nah, itu artinya udah verb tiga. Okay. Now, let's look at these sentences. Hmm. These sentences, so these activities, he has cleaned the kitchen, she has lost her keys, they have played tennis. Did they happen in the past, the present, or the future? So let's look at this man. Clean the kitchen. Did it happen in the past, the present, or the future? Yeah, that's right. We're getting lots of messages. They happened in the past, yeah? We can see the man. He has already finished cleaning the kitchen. Uh, the girl there, she lost her keys before. Yeah, she's not losing them right now. She lost them before. And the two girls playing tennis, they have... Shaken hands, they finished, Miss Vicky. Oke, okay. so jadi teman-teman untuk dipastikan lagi bahwa grammar ini itu adalah dipakai ketika sesuatu ini sudah selesai terjadinya. Jadi bisa dilihat juga di layarnya uh, selesai membersihkan, makanya kita menggunakan he has cleaned the kitchen dan lost the key-nya itu barusan nih. Jadi kita bilangnya she has lost her keys dan si teman di cewek dua ini udah selesai nih main tenisnya, makanya itu grammar ini dipakai ketika udah selesai. But what's the difference, Mr. Ashley? Oke. Okay. Now, the next question. Mm -hmm. Did these activities finish recently? So, not a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Or a long time ago. Recently or a long time ago. What do you think, guys? Ah, getting a lot of people say recently. Nice. Let's take a look. Maybe. Yes. So again, we can see maybe the girls playing tennis. They are saying, you know, mm -hmm. uh, well done, good game. Mm -hmm. They finished recently. What is recently in Bahasa, Miss Vicky? 
Barusan? Barusan. Iya, yeah, barusan selesai. <laughs> yeah, so something finished not a long time ago. Iya, yeah. jadi teman-teman itulah bedanya. Tadi kalau seandainya dia terjadinya di pas, tapi barusan selesai nih. Nah, makanya ketika teman-teman menghadapi mau mau bilang bahasa Inggris menggunakan grammar yang seperti ini, jadi pastikan kalian menggunakan um, present perfect simple untuk yang barusan selesai. Ya. Yeah. Kita let's Uh, mengupas lebih dalam ini, Sir Ashley. What's more, how to use this? Okay, grammar. so we know that they happened in the past mm-hmm. and they happened recently. But do we know exactly when they finished? Is there a time here? Can we see any times like yesterday or one o'clock? Any times in these sentences? Uh, hello, Ahmad. Yes, I can see you. Don't worry. Uh, you are part of the group with the other participants, so don't worry. <laughs> okay. So, do we know when these activities finished? Is there a time, everyone? Does it say yesterday or last week? No, you're right, it doesn't. We don't know exactly when they finished. We know they finished recently. We don't know the exact time, Miss Vicky. Okay, jadi teman-teman, pakai grammar ini adalah ketika Barusan banget selesai dan nggak ada keterangan waktunya. So, jadi kalau sana ya teman-teman pakai he has cleaned the kitchen two days ago itu salah karena nggak bisa ada keterangan waktunya kalau untuk menggunakan grammar yang ini. Jadi kalau sana ya memang baru selesai dan nggak ada keterangan waktunya, we will use the present perfect simple. Hmm. So, how about these sentences? How do we make them? So we've got the green word. What is the green word? In grammar, guys, he, she, they, we call them the sub, sub. So you all know the green words here, he, she, they, we call them the sub. Yeah, that's right, the subject, good. And then we have these red words. What are the red words, everyone? Our has, our have, that's right. And then we have cleaned, lost, played. What were we studying at the start of the class? Verb. Verb three, that's right, our past participle. So this is called present perfect simple. Subject, have or has, and verb three. Okay, now with our have or has, If the subject is I, you, we, they, we use have. Or together, we can say I've, you've, we've, they've. They are both correct. Wow. But with has, he, she, it goes with has. So he has, he's, she has, she's, it has, it's. And then our verb three. Okay, wow, it's a very good tips. Jadi teman-teman tadi dikasih tips juga sama Mr. Ashley untuk kalau sana yang mau kedengeran lebih jago nih bahasa Inggrisnya, itu bisa juga digabung. Jadi kalau sana yang teman-teman mau bilang I have, you can use I've, right? Hmm. And then you have, you've, and then we have, we've, and then they have, they've, they've. they've. Okay, <laughs> nice. Yeah. He has, jadi his. She has become she's, and then it has become it's. That's right. But they are both correct. You can say I have, that's okay. Mm. Or you can say I've. Yes. Yeah. So, as we just said, we use it to describe recent actions, but not saying the exact time. So, in our example, she has lost her keys. We know it happens in the past but we don't know the exact time. So it could be like five minutes ago, could be one hour ago, but it is not a long time ago, Miss Vicky. Okay, jadi teman-teman untuk memastikan lagi mengulangi, menggunakan present perfect simple bukan untuk yang udah terjadi dan itu lama ya, bukan seperti satu tahun yang lalu, dua tahun yang lalu, tapi bisa kayak lima menit yang lalu, atau satu jam yang lalu, jadi memang barusan selesai aja. Kayak gitu. Yeah. For questions in the chat box, don't worry, guys. We will answer some questions at the end, yeah, Miss Vicky. Okay, Maybe yeah. you can let everyone know. Okay, nanti akan dijawab semuanya di chat box. Jadi diketik dulu aja pertanyaannya. Nanti di akhir kita akan dijawab sama Mr. Ashley. Yeah, we will have some time at the end. So don't worry, guys. I'll answer your questions at the end. 
Okay. So here our man here. He has cleaned the kitchen. Did it finish recently? Yes. Do we know exactly when it happened? No. So this is uh, one example of how we use present perfect. There are other ways we use it, but we will look at those next time. Yeah, Miss Vicky. Okay, sure. Okay, so guys, now it's over to you. In the picture, what has happened? Can you make a sentence in the chat box? Yes, teman-teman, coba bikin kalimat di chat box pakai rumusnya present perfect simple rumusnya udah ada di atas tuh yang warna hijau merah dan biru tinggal disusun aja gimana hasilnya coba ketik di chat box dari pertanyaan what has happened gambar yang ada di layar okay Jadi, getting some messages through now wow. love you saying he has broken the pencil let's take a look yeah good job okay. he's broken a pencil he's broken the pencil they are both okay but remember not broke but broken using our verb three, three our past participle okay let's try another one what has happened Ooh. in the chat box can you make a sentence so remember there can be more than one correct sentence for the for these pictures as long as you are using the correct grammar that's okay miss vicky Jadi kalau jawabannya macam-macam nih dari apa yang ada di layar, mungkin ada yang satu bilang mereka dia melukis atau dia bilang dia menggambar. It's okay, yang penting grammarnya benar. Jadi tetap pakai subjek have or has dan jangan lupa verb 3 ya, bukan verb 2, bukan verb 1 supaya jadi present perfect simple. Okay, I think we're getting lots of uh, sentences. She has painted a flower. Let's take a look. Yeah, painted a flower, she has painted a picture, yes. she has painted a painting, they are <laughs> all okay. There's not only one correct answer. Okay, let's try one more in this picture. So this time we have a family, so maybe they, they, mm. what do you think? So we can see, it's a bit messy, yeah, in the picture. Mm -hmm. So maybe they are finished. Yeah. Maybe they've yeah. Maybe they've just completed something. Oh, okay. Getting some sentences. They have finished their dinner. They have eaten the food. Nice. They have eaten together. They yeah, they are all great. As long as you're using the verb three, they have eaten. They have finished. They have made a mess. All of those are correct present perfect sentences. So well done. <laughs> yes, so teman-teman masih benar cara menggunakan present perfect simple-nya enggak masalah untuk mau jawab yang mana aja. Bisa di have eaten dinner or maybe the lunch too. And now we're going to add an extra word or two. So with our present perfect simple, we sometimes use just, already and yet <laughs> so just already yet now here we can see a picture hmm now what do you think they have just done miss vicky mm, they i think they missed the bus okay so we say they have missed the bus or we could say they have just missed the bus oh, okay so we can add just before the verb three uh just in bahasa Baru saja, barusan. Barusan. Uh, kami barusan. Barusan, ketinggalan. Ketinggalan. Bus. Bu, bis. Bis or bus? Bis. Bis, yeah? yeah. <laughs> so this one, using just is the same as, yeah, maybe barusan. Or another example, maybe we can use already. They have already missed the bus. Something that has already happened. Okay. In Bahasa, I believe, sudah, ya? Yeah? Sudah. Mm -hmm. Kami sudah ketinggalan. Is that right? Bus. bus. Oh, bus, ya? Yeah? Ketinggalan is correct, ya? Yeah? Ketinggalan is oh, correct. Oh, yes, You're okay. Really Kami sudah ketinggalan bis. Itu, ya? Yeah? Ya. Yeah, Benar, ya? Yeah? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, with present perfect simple, we can use just and already. And if we're using uh, negative now here 
we can see a child with homework and a big cross, a negative. Hmm. Miss Vicky, yes. do you think he has done his homework? No. No. I don't okay. Think so. so yes. We could make a negative sentence. So maybe he hasn't done his homework yet. Okay. So here we're using our yet at the end of the sentence after our object. So I haven't eaten yet.、Mm -hmm. um, I haven't finished the test yet. Yes.、Uh, in Bahasa, yet. Belum. 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 Itu aja. Belum aja. Belum. Okay. So for this sentence in Bahasa would be. Nah, dia belum selesai mengerjakan what. Uh, Mengerjakan apa? Apa?、Uh, <laughs> I don't know. PR. PR. PR is pekerjaan rumah, so homework. Oh, PR is that's what homework is in bahasa.、Yes. Oh, I didn't know that.、Uh, I've learned something else today. Yeah, homework. I only know homework in English. Yeah, I haven't learned homework in, in bahasa. bahasa. <laughs> okay, so let's try using these words. Are just are already and yet. With our present perfect simple. Can I just explain it a little bit? Yes, please do. Please do. Just already and yet. Nah,、okay. teman-teman yang masih belum paham just already and yet, intinya kata-kata just already and yet itu digunakan untuk men-highlight lagi atau untuk menekankan bahwa ini baru aja terjadi dan makin pas nih kalau digunakan menggunakan present perfect simple. Jadi kalau seandainya teman-teman pakai present perfect simple mau menjelaskan baru aja tadi itu bisa pakai just atau udah selesai itu bisa pakai already. Nah juga dan kalau seandainya teman-teman、e, pakai kata negatif, negatif sentence maksudnya negatif sentence itu ada kata-kata notnya itu pakai yang yet. Jadi kayak memang menekankan bahwa belum kejadian gitu. Jadi belum selesai mengerjakan PR, aku tadi belum makan yang kayak gitu-gitu itu menggunakan present perfect simple plus yet. Nah, itu bisa untuk menekankan lagi menghighlight、hmm. dua-duanya benar bisa dipakai bisa enggak tapi it will make your English more、um, fancy maybe and more accurate yeah and、um, someone asked about using yet in negative we can we can also use it in questions or have you visited Singapore yet have、hmm. you dum 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 yet So there are other examples of using these words, but today we're just doing an introduction to using just already、okay. and yet. Jadi sebenarnya banyak cara penggunaan just already dan yet, tapi ini adalah introduction yang、uh, oke、okay、banget digunakan ketika di present perfect simple untuk penggunaan yet dan already dan just. Dan kalau sananya kata question juga nih kata pertanyaan, kalian mau tanya. Kamu dia ke Singapura belum? Karena ada gitunya. Nah itu transitnya si belum itu adah yet. Yeah, things like, things like that. So there are other ways we can use these words, but today we're just doing an introduction. Yes. English is very wide. There are lots of uses, but today let's focus on using present perfect simple with them. Okay. So here let's try with just. We have a picture of a man in bed. He's going.、Hmm. So. How can we make a sentence with just he? Okay. So getting some sentences through here. He has just woke up. He has just woken up. Okay. I think most of them getting it correct. Now remember, we need to use verb three. Yeah. So wake up, woke up. Verb three. Do you know, Miss Vicky? I know it's it's with N in N, the end. N, that's right. So he has just woken up. Yeah, perfect. Said woken. This is a mistake、uh, many people make with wake, woke, woken. Maybe、mm. it's like break, break, broke, broken.、Mm. Uh, take, took, taken. So yeah.、Um, This is a common mistake, Miss Vicky. Okay, itu jadi common mistake-nya dalam bahasa Inggris itu biasanya banyak yang salah kalau bentuknya adalah seperti woke, wake, wake, woke, woke woke, 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 woke
take a, yeah. kayak gitu tuh banyak yang masih sus, suka kebalik-balik nih untuk teman-teman di sini yang pengen juga tahu common mistake common mistake yang sering banget dilakuin orang-orang yang belajar bahasa Inggris bisa cek TikTok kita TikTok dan Instagram EF TikToknya EF ada di at EF Surabaya di situ ada Mr Ashley juga mm-hmm. you will be there right I am I normally there what you usually do in TikTok on TikTok oh many things sometimes um... Sometimes reading your comments, yeah. Uh, sometimes presenting or learning some language in a fun way. Okay. So yeah, you can find me on social media at EF Surabaya. Yes, bisa langsung ke Instagramnya EF di EF Surabaya. Di situ ada Mr Ashley juga dan di TikToknya EF Surabaya. Jadi kalian sambil scrolling scrolling TikTok sambil sekalian belajar bahasa Inggris juga. Okay, Mr Ashley, next. Okay, so we've tried just. How about already? Hmm. Now here we can use already in two different ways. So we can see a boy here holding his his tummy, his stomach. So what do you think has already happened? Answers in the chat box, please. Okay, we've got he's already eaten his food. He has already eaten. He has already. Eaten. He has just eaten something. That's right. So we're trying to use already. So for this one, we can say either he has already eaten. Now we've got some saying full. Now full isn't、uh, a verb for this one. Yeah.、Um, can fill it up. It was filled up.、Uh, but yeah, for this full, we're using it as an adjective, saying you are full. You feel full. Yeah. Uh, here we want the action, so he has already eaten,、uh, rather than full. Or for already, we can also move the already to after. So he has eaten already is also correct, Miss Vicky. Okay,、Vicky. nice. Jadi teman-teman bisa pakai already itu di tengah-tengah maupun di akhirnya ya. Bisa di has already eaten atau he has eaten already. Tadi juga ada yang bilang he has full. Nah itu bisa juga cuman ini kita lagi belajar present perfect simple dan kita mau apa sih actionnya bukan adjektifnya. Jadi kalau full itu adalah adjektif di mana menjelaskan tentang keadaan.、Hmm. Sementara sekarang apa sih yang dia lakukan? Oh dia udah makan seperti、hmm. itu. Okay. Now full we can we can use fill as a verb but it doesn't work for this. <laughs> Maybe if you're filling up. Can you fill up your petrol in your car?、Mm-hmm. Yeah, but for, it doesn't work for this one. We're describing someone feeling full. Yeah. So he has already eaten, or he has eaten already. Okay, let's try one more. This time we're trying a negative with yet. So what hasn't happened yet? So we're going to use negative and yet. Okay, everyone. So try making your sentence in the chat box. What do you think? Remember to use your verb three, yeah. Okay, getting some sentences through now. Nice. So she hasn't taken any pictures. She she haven't took a photo. She hasn't took. Okay. Lots of good sentences here. Now remember, we need to use our verb three, and I think we looked at. Did we do take earlier? Um, take, taken. Yeah. So take, to, took, taken. So not took, but we're using taken here. Yeah. So I think lots of you have got the correct answer. Yeah. Maybe she hasn't taken a photo yet. She hasn't taken a picture yet. Yeah.、Uh, both of those are correct, but we use our yet at the end normally. So remember. Using our subject, have or has. Now it's she, so she has. She hasn't taken or has not taken a photo yet. Okay. Jadi teman-teman coba kalau sana yang mau membuat kalimat present perfect simple, cuma tinggal hati-hati aja dan menempatkan posisinya sesuai. Jadi dari itu udah pasti benar. Contohnya subjeknya she, tinggal dipikir kalau she itu has atau have. terus dimasukin has ternyata dan memberikan not kalau itu negatif kemudian jangan lupa pakai verb tiga setelah itu dan kemudian subjeknya apa dan baru yet 
Jadi nanti akan langsung jadi kalimat yang betul. She hasn't taken a photo yet. Udah gitu aja. It's so simple actually. Dan teman-teman cuma mengingat-ingat aja rumusnya apa. Bisa dicatat juga di tulisan. Tapi nggak perlu di screenshot karena nanti materinya akan dikirim semuanya ke teman-teman yang hadir di sini. Let's go. Oke. Okay. So, we've practiced our verb threes. Mm -hmm. We've practiced making sentences with present perfect simple. Uh, he has cleaned the kitchen, etc. We've practiced with just already and yet. So now I think it's time for us to try a quiz. Okay. So guys, let me get our quiz on the screen now. Our details. Dum, dum, dum. Oh no, before the quiz, sorry, I've made a mistake. There's one more activity to check before we do the quiz. Okay, guys. So here we have three pictures. Okay. And maybe Miss Vicky, you can tell them what we need to do. Okay. Please. So what you have to do, yang harus teman-teman lakukan, terakhir kali adalah coba ketik kalimat yang lengkap menggunakan present perfect simple dengan rumus yang ada di atas ini tiga dengan gambar-gambar yang ada di situ. Jadi gambar yang pertama ada yang jatuh dari tangga tuh dan menggunakan jas. Nah itu kalimatnya gimana nih kalau present perfect simple? Dicoba aja, jangan takut salah. Langsung diketik di kolom komentar. Yang pertama apa tuh yang si cowok jatuh dari tangga dan pakai jas? Cowok jatuh. Cowok jatuh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Can you try making a sentence with just with this uh, man or boy here? What do you think? Good, we're getting some good sentences here. Yeah, so he has just fallen down the stairs. Or if you want to change the subject, it's okay. My brother has just fallen. Um, the man has just fallen. That's I, okay. Can I use I? <laughs> uh, if you want to use I, but we wouldn't say I has, we'd say I have, I have just fallen. Yes. Okay. How about the next picture? We can see some ladies and they have some shopping, I think. So what do you think? So using our already. So already done shopping, they've already shopped. So remember, we need our verb three somewhere, yeah? Mm -hmm. Don't forget the they have already three. bought the clothes, good. They have already shopped, let's take a look. Yeah, so this one we can have, they have already been shopping. They have already shopped is okay. They have already shopping mm, because we need our verb three, yeah? Already plus verb three. So not shopping, but shopped. They have already bought some dresses. That's great. Mum has already bought some clothes. So yeah, there are lots of different answers that are correct. Oke, okay, jadi kalau yang kedua ini banyak yang benar ya dan bisa berbagai macam. Jadi teman-teman nggak -teman, perlu terpatok sama yang di layar udah pasti benar nih. Itu bisa aja semuanya pakai book. Tadi ada yang pakai book verb tiganya membeli. Kemudian ada juga yang pakai shop berbelanja verb tiganya. Nah, kalau sananya mau pakai bin shopping itu juga bisa verb tiganya be adalah bin jadi bisa dimasukkan ke sini kemudian menjadi shopping seperti yang dicontohkan Mr. Ashley jadi macam-macam dan semuanya bisa selama subjek have or has dan verb tiganya itu pas hmm. oke okay. we have one more before yes. our quiz ayo apa tuh yang terakhir what do we think so we've got with you she has not understood yet I think that works yeah uh, I've wondered about, so remember for yet, we're going to try using a negative, yeah? She hasn't remembered the task yet, good. Ahmad, she hasn't remembered yet, she hasn't understood yet. Lots of good answers. Yeah, so I think some of these you're saying are fine. I wrote she hasn't decided yet, but the other answers you were giving, she hasn't remembered yet, she hasn't thought about it yet, they are all correct, yeah. Okay. Yes, jadi semua jawabannya benar ya. Mau yang decided atau uh, tadi yang teman-teman juga udah jawab remembered bisa juga selama itu diulangi lagi verb three dan biasanya kalau yet 
adalah negatif atau pertanyaan. Jadi selama itu bentuk negatif atau bentuk pertanyaan, you are correct. 